What's up, y'all? Steve here. Got a uh, got a back issue haul. Um, also, a current book haul that I'm going to show. Um, it's been about two weeks since I did it, so I've got quite a bit of books um, that I need to get videoed and and uh, I guess logged in or whatever you want to call it and, and get them put up. I got them rebagged last night. Um, but uh, like I said in a previous video, I end up screwing up and didn't go by the local comic shop for like a month. So I ended up having freaking 50 books I had to pick up. And I can't be doing that, you know. Um, it's just something about, you know, I buy current books, you know, and I enjoy them, you know, but I hate spending the money for them. If I guess that makes sense, you know. Uh, I get more satisfaction of, you know, buying back issue books. and uh, But I enjoy the, the current books, you know. Um, so, anyway, um, I'll show you guys what I got. Um, just uploaded the... Uh, the results of uh, my 200 subscriber contest. I won't say who won it in this one just in case something happens and this one gets uploaded quicker than the other one for some reason. But uh, once again, I appreciate everybody for entering. Um, after this video here, I'm probably going to do a, uh, another trade video of a bunch of books I've got up for trade or for sale. Um, so I did a couple of trade sales with uh, Miski 361 and Hippies Collectibles last week and uh, really happy with how those went um, you know like I said before I buy a bunch of lots you know so I get end up getting doubles and sometimes triples and of books you know but it always comes out cheaper but uh you know I would like to turn those books over and get books that I don't have into my collection so anyway that'll be coming up next um, but anyway, here's what I got. Um, this is actually an upgrade copy of Amazing Spider-Man 225. I bought one uh, last year. I didn't notice that the eyes were almost, somebody like almost colored them in. And uh, so this is actually an upgrade copy here. You know, big Spider-Man fan and a big full killer fan um, for whatever reason. I just remember being a kid and, and the name full killer stuck in my head and I thought that was just freaking awesome. So uh, that's my uh, that's one of my favorite villains, I guess, or whatever you want to call them. Um, but anyway, got this one here, 225, <clears throat> and uh, got a Marvel double feature featuring uh, Captain America and Iron Man. Enter the Adeptoid issue number six. I've got quite a few of these Marvel double features, so I'm just when I see one. Like I said, the way I do it is if, if I buy something from a seller, you know, I usually look and see what else he's got. That way I can kind of justify paying the $5 or whatever shipping. You know, if I buy this one for $0.99, cents, I don't want to spend $5 shipping. And it ends up being a $6 book when it's in, in reality, it's not a $6 book, you know. So, <clears throat> so all these right here are coming up pretty much were on the, uh, the same this one came from a seller all by itself because I was I got a good deal on that but uh this in here came from the I'll, I'll tell you when it ends right here all these are from the same seller so Marvel double feature number six and all these were 99 cent books Avengers 141 you know just plugging away at Avengers um, I think I only need about 70 I think so yeah I'll, I'll eventually get that one done Versus the Squadron Sinister. <clears throat> Creatures on the Loose featuring Thongor. Um, you know, a lot of these Marvel titles like Creatures on the Loose and Marvel Premiere, they kind of hitting those up pretty, pretty hard when I see them. Um, you know, just really, really like them. Uh, like the covers, you know, uh, Bronze Age, I just, I like it, you know. Um, you know, just different. Now, when I was a kid, you know, that's what's crazy. When I was a kid, I didn't go after ones like this. I'd see Thongor. I'm like, what the hell is that? Uh, but uh, hitting them up now. So There's a Marvel 2-in-1, number 17. Uh, he's back diller than ever. The Basilisk. I guess that's how you say it. I know he was part of the uh, Serpent Society. So, uh, you know, Marvel 2-in-1, Thing, and Spider-Man. And of course, Marvel team-ups. I 
think I'm down to about I think about eight maybe is what I need to complete Marvel team up so uh, I'm getting close and uh, but anyway Marvel team up Spider-Man and Doctor Strange number 21 there's another Marvel 2 and 1 thing in the, in the against the mystery menace issue 31 And Captain Marvel number 55. There's Marvel Premiere, issue number 36, 3D Man. Marvel Premiere, Weird World 38. Marvel Premiere featuring the Torpedo, 39. I think this is the first appearance of Torpedo, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. Marvel Premiere featuring Torpedo number 40. I got some uh, Werewolves by Night, issue number 42. There's issue 43. Marvel Premiere featuring Man Wolf 46. Marvel Premiere, uh, The Wood God, issue number 31, you know, uh, the most bizarre superhero of all, I'd probably agree with that, <clears throat> Marvel Premiere featuring Monarch Star Stalker, you know, issue number 32, Marvel Premiere, The Mark of Cain, issue 33, Marvel Premiere featuring the Mark of Cain, 34. Marvel Premiere, Tigra, the Feline Fury, issue 42. And this is what got me to the seller right here, um, was this giant size creatures featuring Werewolf by Night. And it was also the first appearance of uh, Tigra, the Werewoman. So, uh. You know, got this right here. Got a real good deal on this book here. Really good condition. It's probably a, uh, it's probably a fine plus. Yeah, I'd probably say a fine plus. Probably. You know, it's got one of those thick. You know, it's a thick book, so there's a, just a little bit of spine row. Not, not too much. It's still pretty good though. But uh, real happy to get that. After seeing a lot of people's videos, House of Secrets issue one one seven. Um, 117. I don't know why I said 117. Um, this is my first House of Secrets book. Um, you know, wasn't didn't collect these when I was a kid. Um, you know, but seeing a lot of people collect them now, got me kind of interested in them. So I'm been getting into more horror books um, than what I was in the past. So I said, heck, I'll you know, 99 cents. I'll I'll try this out. It's got a little bit of a spine roll. It's not in the best of shape, but it's it's good enough to be the, my first one. So, uh, Marvel Comics presents issue number one, featuring Wolverine. Um, I had this when I was younger, and for some reason I don't know what happened to it. So, I uh, decided to get another copy of it. I got Man Thing issue number two. Um, I've got Man Thing three through nine, I think, coming. Um, and of course, issue number three is uh, the first appearance of uh, Full Killer, the very first Full Killer. So, uh, got it coming. But uh, really like these covers right here. Cover art looks great. Um, spine is in a little rough shape, um, but it's it's okay for now. Yeah, I might upgrade later on. Here's some more Marvel team ups. There's issue number 20, Spider Man, Black Panther. 22. There's 23, featuring uh, Human Torch and the Iceman. So that's what I liked about Marvel team-ups. They always paired them up, you know, or have them going against each other. I mean, it was, you know, Iceman, Human Torch together. I mean, you know, just, just cool. You know, I liked them. I even liked them when I was a kid. This is one I was glad to get to. It was uh, Marvel team-up issue 53, which is uh, John Byrne's first, first work on X-Men. Um, 
you know, so I was really, really happy to get this. Um, you know, um, it's also got a, the wood god, you know. I don't think I ever even noticed him when I was a kid, so it'd be kind of interesting. Uh, here's Marvel Team Up number 91. Uh, Spider Man and the Ghost Rider. Hold on, let me check something out real quick, guys. We also got <clears throat> Marvel Team Up Spider Man and the Werewolf. Like I said, I'm really, really happy to be getting all these team ups right here. Getting them knocked out. Marvel team up, Spider Man and the Machine Man. Let's see here. I'm looking something up just to make sure on something. Just kind of bear with me. There's, uh, yeah, Marvel Team Up 99, Spider Man and the Machine Man. Machine Man's probably another one I'm gonna, gonna hit up later on. <clears throat> There's issue 146 with Nomad, and the black suit, of course. There's 147 with the Human Torch, and 149 with Cannonball, and Spider Man. Here's the annual number seven, Marvel Team Up, Spider Man and the Alpha Flight. So, really good little run right there that I got. Some older issues. Um, <clears throat> show some other ones here. Got a Quasar number 16. There's issue 18. There's issue 22. I don't even know what to think about this right here. I think he'd be on Ricky Lake or Jerry Springer or something. Um, I don't ever remember this cover here when I was a kid. I don't think I would ever been able to forget it. You know, I know in issue 28, which I've got, I know they were fighting over, you know, I forgot what her name was, but I guess she impregnated him. So I've got, I forgot the storyline, so I guess I'm gonna have to check that out. There's 33. You know, I think, <laughs> I think if that happened to a superhero, I think he would lose all his credibility whatsoever. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. That blows my mind a little bit. <clears throat> There's 40. There's 45. 53. Then I hit up uh, Captain Marvel. Um, I think this is volume, I think this is volume five right here. Um, it's kind of going to be out of order right here. I'll put that off to the side. Um, I needed Black Knight number four to complete the little mini series that he had. Um, also, I hit up uh, Punisher Armory. I bought a full run of it, but I needed just these books right here out of it. Um, there's three, four. Five, six, seven, issue eight. Here comes the Captain Marvels here. <clears throat> you know, trying to complete my volume one. I'm trying to get all the Captain Marvels. I always was a big fan. Um, so here's issue one, two, three, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 17, 18, and then 27. And I did, I did, I got a full run all the way, I think, of 28. And, uh, you know, some of the books are duplicates that I had. Um, so, uh, like I said, I'll be putting those into my uh, up for trade or sale video. Then we go to, uh, I got these right here real cheap. I had issue number one, and uh, so here was a uh, full run of Spitfire from New Universe that came out in the 80s. Issue two, 
three, four, five. And when I say cheap, I mean I got these right here for maybe, you know, 25 cents a book. So, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. I just finished that little run. <clears throat> also got a big Defenders fan. And uh, I think this right here is volume three, I believe. Um, you know, you know, superhero groups, what I like to do is I like to try and get all the all the runs that they've got, all volumes. Um, you know, real close. I got just about all Captain America's volumes except for them, except for the golden age. And uh, working on uh, all the Daredevils, I got volume one of it. Um, I think volume three, and I've almost got all of volume two. But I just, I like to complete it, get all of it, um, if I can. <clears throat> but here's Defenders eight, nine, 10. Yeah, and I'm just a big, huge Iron Fist fan. So, I mean, anything that's got Iron Fist on it, there's 11, 12. Then I got, um, yeah, I didn't get these when they, they first started started out as Wolverine and the X-Men. And everybody I've heard talk about it says this is probably one of the best books out. Um, so I decided to, to pick up some back issues of it, read it for myself. There's 13, 14, 15, 16, oops, there's 17, 20, 21, 22, 24, put that in the bag, or bag and board, 27. And also when I bought these, you know, the, the seller would sell like five of them at a time. And some of them would overlap. <clears throat> so I've got some of these right here up for, I'll have up for tra trade or sell. Um, you know, I'll show them in the video. Uh, there's 28, 29, 30, 31. Then uh, I got New Excalibur, um, issue 15, 16. And what kind of drew, drew me to this right here was um, number one, Claremont does it, and uh, also Juggernaut is in it. So 17. There's 18. Oops. 19. 20. 21, 22, I like that cover there, that's a good looking cover, 23, and I got a full run of uh, X-Force, I think this is volume 2, here's issue 1, everybody's favorite, Rob Liefeld, and he does use a ton of line work, I mean if you look at what he does, I mean he's just got lines everywhere, you know. Um, I don't know, two, three, four, five, and six. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. <clears throat> and I picked up picked up uh, Superman and Batman um, you know when I got back into comics in the mid 2000s uh, then I took a, a break later these were one of the, some of the books that I was picking up you know the covers were freaking awesome you know they, Michael Turner was doing the art I mean you know he he was just a great I mean and he's he is big time missed um, you know but Decided I'm going to try and complete this run right here. Um, so I picked up issue number 10. And uh, I did get some doubles um, of, of Michael Turner stuff, but I'm going to keep it. Um, I just, I, you know, there's some books I don't mind having doubles of. And I think Michael Turner stuff is, is stuff that I would like to keep. Um, but here's issue 10. I got both covers. There's 12. 13 and that's probably one of my favorite covers right there i mean that's just 
awesome. The way he drew Supergirl, I mean, that, that's just great. There's 14, 15, 16, 19, 20. And you can tell there's a big difference in the artwork. 21, 22, 23, 64, 69. <clears throat> then I, you know, I hate to say, you know, but I missed a boat early on on the Batgirl and Batman and stuff like that. So I've been trying to backtrack and, uh, when I see stuff that sets, you know, my price range, you know, I'm not going to overpay for it, you know, but I'm trying to pick up, you know, the, the back issues of these new 52s. Because, I mean, the, the covers and the art is freaking just awesome. I mean, it's, it is great. So, um, here's Batgirl Zero, issue four, issue number five, two copies of five. Probably have that up for trade or sell. There's six, nine, there's ten, eleven, <clears throat> twelve. This one right here is the first Batgirl comic that I picked up of New 52. I mean, that right there is probably the wickedest cover I've seen on a book in a, in a long time. I mean, that that is just awesome. So there's 16, 19. <clears throat> then I picked up uh, Dark Knight, Batman Dark, the Dark Knight, issue number one. <clears throat> there's uh, Legend of the Dark Knight 2. Batman Beyond, issue one. Uh, here's some current books that I picked up. These are going to kind of be mixed in. Um, but I picked up Batman Superman 1. And I'm, I'm very behind on my reading, so there's two. I got the Batman 66 issue 1. Here's the Batmans that I picked up. Um, I decided to pull the trigger on getting these. Um, you know, I've got the latter issues, but I needed the early ones, and you're just you're paying out the ass on them. Um, so here's issue 0. <clears throat> There's issue two, three, four. You know, and I thought about it, and I was like, should I do it? You know, and the way that I'm looking is, is that, you know, this is the first Batman title. This is volume two. You know, volume one has been highly successful. Volume two has been highly successful. And, uh, you know, I just feel like that the books are only going to go up is the way I look at it. Um, they've done a great job with it, you know. Um, it might stabilize, you know, eventually, but, you know, I think that I think it's going to be something to, to go ahead and get the books um, when you can because it, it is a hot, hot book. Same with the Daredevil Volume 3, you know. So, <clears throat> issue 8, there's 10, there's 11. Issue 12, I just love that cover. There's 13, got a couple copies of it. There's issue 14, There's, that's the variant cover. There's other 14, 15, there's issue 18, there's 19, another copy of 19, there's issue 20. There's 22, 23, and annual two. Then I got annual 28 of, of his first volume. <clears throat> Batman Detective Comics 15, De Detective Comics 877, 878, and 879. All right, guys, I'm getting there. Um, I 
I got a couple more piles and then we'll be we'll be done. Like I said, these are some mixes of some uh, current books and not. Um, so here's a Superior Spider-Man team up one, two. Thanos Rising one. All Star Western one. John of Hex. I know Comic Quarter likes that one. Guardians of the Galaxy 0.1. Captain Marvel 10. I don't collect this Captain Marvel. Um, but I got it for 99 cents. So I was like, you know, what the hell? There's Uncanny X Force 25. 26. 27. 28. I mean, these covers are just awesome. 29. 30. 31. 32. 35. Here's the X Force 2. 3. 4. 8. There's 9. That's just a wicked looking cover right there. Love it. <clears throat> I got Hawkeye, Dark Rain, two of five, three of five, Bullseye, four of five. That's just, look at that. That's just awesome. Then I got uh, Black Panther, Captain America, Flags of Our Fathers, issue one, two, three, and four. Then I got uh, Moon Knight number seven. This is the Bendis run. <clears throat> Anything Moon Knight I collect. I got uh, I got, Mo I got all volume one, volume two, Mark Spector. Except for the last few issues of Mark Spector. Those are kind of hard to get and they're kind of pricey. So I got some short print runs. <clears throat> there's seven. There's eight. Nine. 10, 11, there's issue number 12, then I'm kind of plugging away at Iron Man Volume 1, there's 283, which I think this right here is the first appearance of uh, War Machine, there's Invincible Iron Man number 1, 2, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, I like that, you know, he's putting on, you know, the different armor, it's cool as shit. <clears throat> There's 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I'm sorry guys for this being so long, <clears throat> 26. 27, 28, 29. Then I ended up getting uh, G.I. Joe Operation Hiss. Um, big G.I. Joe fan, of course. Um, here's issue one. Here's issue two. Issue three. Issue four. Here's issue number five. Then I got uh, Uncanny Avengers. Um, I ended up, um, yeah, I got the first, I think, two issues, and then I stopped getting them. Um, I didn't have them on my pull list, so I ended up getting these right here. I think I got this whole lot right here for like three bucks. So I got caught up back up on my Uncanny Avengers. So there's two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and eight, eight U, or eight U. Then I got Ghost Rider Fear Itself, issue one, two, three, the Ghost Rider 0 0.1, got five, six, Seven and eight. All right. Uh, looks like I got one more stack here. 
<clears throat> this ain't big at all right here, so. Um, get everything kind of situated here. All right, we got Forever Evil one. Ended up uh, getting, uh, you know, Joker number one, 23.1. I got the, uh, uh, you know, this is the hologram cover. Then I got the regular cover. It's the only ones I got so far. Um, here's Star Wars issue number one. This is based on the original screenplay. You know, everybody's, even my comic book store was saying how hot this book is right now. So, uh, be interesting to read this. <clears throat> There's X-Men Battle of the Atom, chapter number one. Got Infinity 2 of 6. I've already got Infinity 1. Uh, these are my, my current pulls, of course. Um, G.I. Joe 192. 193. There's uh, issue number 6 of the new IDW. There's 7. Peerless Defenders. 7. 8. There's Mark Wade's Daredevil 29. 30 best book out there Captain America number 9 10 there's uh, Avengers 17 there's Avengers number 18 we got all new X-Men um, chapter 2 this is uh, issue 16 of, uh, chapter 2 of Battle of the Atom uh, all new X-Men 15 there's uh, A plus X 11 Wolverine 7, Wolverine 8, Walking Dead 113. Every time I look at Walking Dead now, I think of Clint, you know, Hero Hunter, getting that TGC, I think it's a 9.6 issue 1. I'm like, good lord, you know, how awesome is that? But uh, Venom 38, 39, 40. So you can see how behind I was on picking up my books. Uh, Uncanny X-Men. 9, 10, 11, Uncanny X-Force issue 9, I like that right there, she's got the earbuds in, getting tatted, get a back piece done on her back, cool, Uncanny X-Force 10, Thunderbolts 14, Superior Spider-Man 14, 15, 16, 17, then we've got Star Wars Dark Horse number 8, Secret Avengers 7, 8. I like that right there. I gotta get get caught up reading on this. Um, you know, of course that's an AIM helmet. You know, I'm a big AIM, Hydra. Um, you know, just like those terrorist organizations, I guess. Then of course there's Helheim 6, which is the final issue for now. Um, guys, I think that's all. I think we blew through them. Um, I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, sorry to blow through them kind of quick, but you know I'm, I'm going to end up doing three videos today. I've got the contest results one, this one for my all my back issues, and I'm going to do a trade video probably right after this. And uh, then I got to go finish mowing the grass and uh, get ready for my son's baseball game tonight. So anyway, um, hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, get out there enjoy it I mean, it's gonna be about 80 degrees out in here in Arkansas so it's gonna be nice so anyway thanks guys and uh, talk to y'all later see ya